Thank you, Shu Hong. It's really a great honor for me to spend my sabbatical year here at IAS. I learned a lot from people here. Uh, I really appreciate this opportunity. Uh, sure. uh, <laughs> uh, it's even a, a nice place to have quarantine. <laughs> Uh, so uh, today I'm happy to talk, uh, talk uh, about uh, some understanding of uh, entanglement entropy in the, context, in the context of flat holography. And this is um, based on some previous paper with my previous postdoc Qiang Wen and uh, with this student Hong Liang. Hong Liang now is a, a postdoc uh, in, uh, at Bonn. And uh, uh, and uh, some upcoming paper with um, my poster Louis Apollo and uh, uh, my student uh, Yuan Zhong and also Hong Liang. Uh, so uh, as we know, uh, we learned uh, a lot from uh, holography uh, uh, from. Uh, the ADS-CFT correspondence during the past more than 20 years. Uh, on the other hand, our real world is not really under the city space and it would be helpful to uh, make some effort toward uh, building holographic, um, understanding holographic duality for um, these uh, non and the set of geometries, for example, asymptotically Minkowski space, uh, the set space, and uh, curve space time. And today, I will especially focus on Minkowski space. Uh, so, uh, in particular, uh, I'd like to focus on the very nice probe, uh, namely entanglement entropy. As we know, Yu Takage uh, um, proposed this beautiful formula that entanglement entropy in a quantum field theory can be calculated uh, in, uh, in the bulk by a geometry, namely the minimum surface. And this proposal has been uh, established uh, uh, in, in the context of ADSFT and uh, uh, for, um, uh, well, more precisely in Einstein gravity. And the first step would be this uh, to understand how it works for very special uh, uh, states and uh, special uh, in that entangling surface, namely the bullshit entangling surface. And that was obtained using the method of, um, uh, of well, I'd like to call it the Ringler method by Cassini, Hutan, Myers, and then later uh, this uh, uh, more general. Uh, proof by uh, Lerquist Manasena uh, to establish Ruta Kanagi for more general background and more general states. Now, uh, so uh, the question I'd like, uh, I would like to ask is uh, how uh, would this story goes uh, in some uh, other models of holographic duality? duality? In particular, I would like to focus on uh, this uh, uh, model of uh, holographic duality for three-dimensional uh, asymptotically flat space-time. And uh, uh, the, the approach is to use uh, these uh, two methods, uh, Rindel method and the generalized uh, gravitational entropy to derive uh, the back picture and uh, this way, uh, we would uh, uh, obtain uh, some, uh, uh, sorry, can you see the picture? Oh. Yeah, can, uh, yeah, we can, can see it. This oh, I can, I can see the picture, uh, but uh, okay. So uh, we will get a, a, a good, uh, a nice, uh, a new geometric picture for holographic entanglement entropy, and this is given by uh, what we call uh, a swing surface, uh, where, uh, so here is uh, a interval uh, at the boundary, uh, uh, interval A, and from the end point of this interval, 
uh, there are these uh, benches, uh, gamma plus and gamma minus from the two end point. And uh, these benches, uh, sorry, these this, this now ropes, uh, they are now geodesics uh, shooting from the end point of this interval A. Uh, later, I will uh, give more details on how to determine these now geodesics. Uh, but uh, right now, I can say it's these now geodesics are along the modular flow direction. And uh, so, this uh, there is a uh, space like geodesic uh, in this space uh, three dimensional bulk space time, which is, uh, is the uh, extremal surface between these now ropes. And this uh, the area of uh, the total area of this three part, well, which is also the area of uh, the space like geodesic would give, uh, give the uh, entanglement entropy of the uh, dual theory. So uh, this is the sort of uh, the, the result. And uh, this uh, in the following, uh, I will first uh, uh, describe uh, what I mean uh, by flat holography in, uh, flat holography in three dimensions and uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll first uh, uh, derive this picture uh, using this uh, Rindler method, uh, similar to the derivation of uh, uh, Cassini, Hutan, and Myers, and then talk about uh, uh, the modular Hamiltonian, and then uh, uh, have a more general uh, discrete, uh, geometrical picture and have an uh, argument. Uh, along the lines of liquidity and non -sin. Okay, so that's the whole picture and the plan. Uh, so let me start by uh, list uh, my assumptions. So uh, by holography, uh, I will uh, explicitly use uh, the following properties. Uh, the bulk geometry would uh, uh, admit a semi-classical description, and in particular, I will focus on Einstein gravity. And uh, uh, there, uh, in the uh, in the uh, the dual field theory has a symmetry group uh, uh, denoted by G, and uh, the field theory has a vacuum, and uh, it's it has its invariant and the subgroup of uh, of G. Uh, it G and H could be the same, uh, but they in principle they don't have to. And uh, these uh, generators of the vacuum symmetry are denoted by H I. Um, Sorry, uh, wait. So when you say symmetry group of the field theory, uh, what do you have in mind concretely? To are you having in mind some internal global symmetry or some isometry of the space-time or some BMS-like thing? Oh, uh, it's the BMS, uh, well, or, or this conformal symmetry in, in, okay. in the Euro, and, uh, and in the Euro case. I thought in some cases people say the BMS, the, the vacuum, um, I, I thought in some cases said, people say that the BMS acts on the degenerate vacua, but that's not oh, a case yeah. here, or? Oh, that that's uh, that's my, that's the bulk. Uh, so the field theory, uh, I would uh, assume uh, this uh, the uh, this uh, the BMS plays the role of conformal symmetry in the field theory. This is the field theory. In the bulk or on the boundary? On the boundary. Okay. Uh -huh. But I, then, I, I thought the vacuum would not be invariant under the BMS group. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh, in some context. <laughs> uh, maybe let me just give the examples by what I mean. Uh, so, uh, uh, so 
in uh, so item two is purely about the field theory and uh, by symmetry group uh, in ordinary say 2D CFT this is uh, just the, the conformal symmetry and the vacuum symmetry is the two SL2s uh, and uh, by uh, so uh, I will in this setup of hologra flat holography, uh, the field theory would be uh, a theory that is uh, a field theory, two-dimensional field theory that is invariant under the uh, BMS transformations. And the vacuum, uh, as we, I will see later, uh, uh, the, uh, the vacuum is invariant under the Pangari group. Oh, I see. So it's like the global part of the BMS. The global part. So just yeah. like the CFT vacuum is invariant under the global part of the 2D. Yes. I see. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the analog. I see. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so yes. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe it's clear uh, to directly say uh, what I mean. Um, so that's item two. It's purely about the field theory. Uh, well, in this talk, when I see the field theory, I was uh, refer to the, the the field theory at the boundary, the dual field theory. So in the gravity, in the bulk, I will only consider gravity. Uh, and uh, so uh, the uh, so in term three is about uh this is about the bulk. Uh so uh we would uh, impose certain consistent boundary conditions uh such that uh the asymptotic uh, asymptotic symmetry uh in the bulk uh agrees uh with the symmetry group at the boundary, namely so uh in in the context of ADS three CFT two. Uh, we impose from no boundary condition and we get uh, uh, this uh, left moving and the right, right moving conformal symmetry. And uh, the uh, phase space uh, from that sense, phase space of uh, quantum uh, gravity uh, and uh, this boundary condition would, uh, uh, would be agree with a, a two dimensional conformal field theory. And uh, similarly, here um, uh, we learn that uh, in uh, in the boundary gauge and uh, certain boundary conditions, uh, asymptotic flat space uh, would uh, have a uh, BMS symmetry as the asymptotic symmetry group. And uh, uh, so uh, the back uh, in the back set. Uh, we have a special solution uh, which has uh, the whose asymmetry agrees with the uh, global part of the uh, uh, of the symmetry in the field series that uh, in again this uh, we know uh, global ADS has uh, killing six killing vectors uh, and uh, they are they generate SL2 cross SL2 uh, uh, algebra. And uh, so uh, in the case of uh, this flat uh, holography, we have global Minkowski, uh, which uh, is identified as the vacuum state in a field theory. And uh, it also has these uh, asymmetries and uh, this asymmetry agrees with the um, this uh, the the vacuum uh, the the vacuum symmetries. And uh, item five uh, is uh, uh, is uh, uh, most standard uh, the Padin function in the field theory uh, in the gravity and the field theory. Uh, they agree with each other. But in the bulk, uh, of course, we need to take into account uh, uh, the effect of the boundary, the boundary conditions. Okay, so uh, this, uh, this uh, 
uh, properties of the holographic uh, dictionary uh, 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 will be explicitly used in this uh, in the uh, in the following of this uh, this talk and in the derivation. And uh, moreover, I would show that uh, uh, so uh, we uh, we will, uh, in order to have this uh, general uh, picture of uh, this uh, uh, holographic entanglement entropy, uh, we would also need to uh, require that uh, uh, for the vacuum state uh, entanglement entropy for say a, a single interval, uh, we will be able to write down uh, a local modular Hamiltonian. Uh, I'll show later how how to do this. Uh, are there uh, any further questions about these assumptions? Can you go to the next slide? Next slide, uh, the BMS slide. Yeah. So, um, so on, on your second bullet point, uh, on your second point, what happens if you what happens if you act the L minus one or L plus one act on, on your vacuum state? Do you generate the excited state or do you get another vacuum state? Uh, it uh, 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 the vacuum. So both L plus one and L minus one annihilate the vacuum. Yeah, all the six. All six of them annihilate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Those are the Poincaré group. Oh, sorry. Those are the Poincaré generator. But then, what about L minus? Is there L minus two? Uh yes. Uh, that's the full BMS. Right. Generator. So what what happens if you act a, a more general BMS generator on the vacuum? Do you get uh, another vacuum state or do you get an excited state? You get a, the, the, the uh, uh, a, like a descendant. Uh, and and that presumably has higher energy than the vacuum state. Yes. Okay. It's look. It's a uh, lack of uh, acting the stress tensor on the vacuum. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you saying the the Hamiltonian of the boundary theory is is the Hamiltonian of the boundary theory L zero? The Hamiltonian of the boundary theory. Uh, is uh, uh, so uh, it's uh, it's more uh, it's more like uh, I'm I'm not. Uh, M are the generators of the Virasoro, and M uh, M is uh, the generator of the uh, the super translation. Right, right. Uh, L are the Virasoros. I see. So you're saying M zero. So M zero is the Hamiltonian, and so if I if I consider the state as Shu Hung was suggesting, L minus two acting on the vacuum. That state has a non-zero energy. So uh, we're talking about m minus two instead of l minus two. The m's are super translations, right? Yes, we can talk about m minus two. Yes, yeah, probably that's that, that's clear. What's the state that that's m minus two acting on the vacuum? Is that an excited state or is that another vacuum state? It's uh. Yes, an excited state. But don't all the M's commute with each other? The M's commute with each other, but L and M, they don't commute. But if you're saying the Hamiltonian is M0, and uh, the, M0 commutes with M minus two, so M minus two acting on the vacuum should be should also have zero energy. Well, the, the energy is, uh, is M, M naught. J L naught is uh, is the angular momentum. Uh, hmm. OK. 
Okay. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll let you continue then maybe we can discuss later. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, maybe a, a few more. Yeah, this is more about the, uh, uh, the box set. Uh, so uh, we can write three-dimensional Minkowski space-time in the boundary gauge and using this, uh, uh, we can first write it using this uh, polar coordinate and then um, use uh, uh, this U is uh, uh, T minus R and is the is retarded time uh, and phi is identified upon two pi. And uh, so the Pangori uh, generators are uh, these M's and L's and uh, in particular M naught is time translation and L naught is the uh, angular momentum and L1 and L minus one are, uh, are, are boosts in, in the bulk. And uh, this, uh, this is the boundary condition uh, to impose at non-infinity. And uh, by, uh, uh, of course, uh, this, uh, we are in 3D, uh, there are lots of uh, different morphisms and uh, 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 that uh, uh, this uh, allowed different morphisms are those uh, that generate uh, perturbations of the, say, the metric uh, that satisfy uh, these boundary conditions. In particular, uh, we uh, uh, there are of course six conditions. Um, Cause C is the uh, asymptotic uh, kernel vector, and uh, they have to satisfy such conditions. Um, and if you solve this, uh, these conditions, you'll find that uh, all these uh, uh, M's and uh, L's, they will, uh, before the, the exact symmetry, you, you only have six of them, that's the Pangori generators. And then after solving uh, these asymptotic uh, killing uh, equations, you'll get uh, uh, LNs and L, uh, LNs are these uh, super rotations and MNs are super translations. And uh, one can define uh, gravitational nodal charges associated, associated to these uh, asymptotic kinetic vectors, and they, they can be expressed as the surface charges. And also uh, here is the BMS uh, algebra. Uh, uh, so these L's are their source, and uh, L and M, they don't commute with each other, uh, and the M's commute with each other. Uh, so, uh, in general, uh, there could be two possible uh, central terms. One is the euro versus central term. And uh, in addition, there is a central term between the gen uh, commutator of uh, L and M, there's uh, this CM. So, uh, if you do the calculation in Einstein gravity, uh, we always find that uh, this uh, very source central charge is zero, uh, but uh, there is a non-trivial central term between these L's and M's, and the, uh, this is uh, uh, the CM uh, is given by uh, the Newton's constant. And uh, there you can find uh, some other uh, gravitational theories to how non-zero or uh, uh, very sort of central charge, uh, but not uh, Einstein gravity. Uh, so we have the holographic dictionary asymptotic symmetry group is uh, uh, defined by the allowed symmetry transformation mod by the previous uh, symmetry transformation, which has zero gravitational charges. And uh, um, so this uh, symmetry agrees with the symmetry of the uh, dual field theory. Uh, and uh, so we could uh, uh, look at the phase space of pure Einstein gravity. Uh, without matter, uh, one can solve the entire phase space and uh, they are parameterized by two arbitrary periodic functions of phi 
P phi and J phi. And uh, um, roughly speaking, uh, this uh, uh, P phi uh, is uh, uh, more, uh, looks like uh, the uh, birth order generator. Uh, uh, and this J is uh, uh, is uh, relate sorry this J is related to the aversor uh, generator and P is related to, to the super uh, translation uh, and uh, in particular uh, we can consider this zero mode when both P and J phi equal to zero and uh, there is uh, when M equals minus one J equal to zero that's the uh, global Minkowski space, uh, uh, global Minkowski space, and when M is positive, uh, this is uh, the so-called. Uh, uh, it's uh, um, still locally Minkowski space, but it has a Cauchy horizon, and people call it the flat uh, space uh, cosmological solution. And when M is negative. Uh, there will be conical defects uh, or conical uh, uh, excesses. Okay, uh, so this is roughly uh, the bulk story. Any questions? Uh, so uh, I just wanted to ask a question. This uh, the CM is not dimensionless. Because that comes from the commutator between uh, the angular momentum and the energy. energy. So, so these generators are not uh, uh, they, they are not uh, dimensionless as well. I see. And in topologically massive gravity, the scale is then coming from from the mass. When you say CL is not equal to zero, in uh, it's uh, it's the gravi it's the gravitational anomaly. It's related to the mass of the the massive gravitator. Okay. Uh, so this can be uh, obtained from taking a flat limit from ADS ray. Uh, say we take the uh, the uh, the ADS length to be infinity, and in that case, uh, this uh, the phase space is actually. Uh, the limit of Banyado solutions and all this uh, like uh, global Minkowski is the limit of global ADS and uh, this uh, flat cosmological horizon is the limit of BTZ black hole. But interestingly, uh, this horizon of this solution is actually the inner, inner horizon of the BTZ. Uh, but nevertheless, there is a horizon uh, here for m greater than zero. And now we go to the fifth series set. Uh, so uh, we call this uh, two-dimensional uh, field theory, which are invariant under the following EMS trans transformations as uh, BMS, FT. Uh, so per, uh, this, uh, uh, the series environment and uh, such uh, transformations of the coordinate. Uh, in particular, phi is up to a uh, arbitrary uh, reparameterization. Uh, U is, uh, uh, you cannot do the same thing for U. Instead, uh, it's, uh, it, you can rescale U, uh, but uh, it's related to the reparameterization of phi and shift U by an arbitrary function. And this, uh, this such uh, uh, two-dimensional field theory with such uh, uh, transformation properties can um, alternatively be obtained from uh, a two-dimensional conformal field theory uh, by a, a ultra a relativistic limit uh, by rescaling T and keeping uh, uh, consider a, 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 a CFT on a cylinder, you rescue T, uh, and uh, then basically the new Versora 
is given by uh, the difference of the two results, but a difference, but with opposite modes, uh, uh, like annihilation from uh, from one side uh, and the creation from the other side, and that's why this uh, this uh, so, uh, where source central charge is actually the difference between the left moving and the right moving central charge. And on the other hand, uh, this MNs, the super rotations, can uh, be obtained from a limit of uh, the, the sum of this uh, left and the right moving versus generators. And because of this uh, limit, one can uh, try to see how uh, the causal domain uh, uh, goes. Uh, so here is a 2D, uh, the causal domain of a 2D CFT. After this limit, uh, we say that uh, uh, it, uh, it goes from a diamond to a, uh, to a strip where uh, this uh, U, uh, in this U direction, uh, it's infinitely long. Uh, interestingly, there is uh, an opposite limit. Uh, you can keep the T coordinate but rescue uh, the uh, uh, phi coordinate. And then you get a non relativistic limit. In that case, the algebra uh, is the Galilean conformal algebra which is exactly the same as this BMS algebra, but, uh, uh, but they, are only, they only agree at the level of the algebra, but uh, uh, like the causal structure and the lots of quantum uh, uh, structures are different. Okay, uh, there are uh, lots of interesting properties of this BMS field theory. I don't have time to talk about, uh, I only mention one uh, uh, property. Uh, you can uh, consider uh, um, consider uh, the modular uh, environment, modular covariance of uh, uh, the torus patting function in such a theory. Uh, basically, uh, uh, you uh, consider a torus with a thermal circle and a spatial circle, then um, uh, you can exchange these two circles, and uh, uh, there is a uh, analog of uh, S transformation that allow you to uh, to relate uh, this uh, uh, the uh, the Pattinson function at uh, uh, high temperature to to low temperature. And uh, in the end, uh, one can get uh, an analog of Cardi formula in such series. And uh, interestingly, such a Cardi formula can reproduce uh, the thermal entropy of the uh, of this uh, this uh, flat cosmological solution. Okay. Uh, and any questions so far? Okay, so so uh, so much. I have, I have a question. I haven't understood the meaning of compactifying the U direction. Compactifying? Maybe that's not what you're doing. Are you making U compact or not? When you okay. said you had a torus. Oh, he, here. Uh, 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 the torus is, is to introduce a. Uh, uh, you you mean the uh, so here uh, there is a uh, by thermal circle I mean uh, doing uh, having a imaginary identification uh, given by this a uh, parameterized by two uh, parameters a and a bar. And uh, the second is the uh, a spatial circle. Uh, I'm not uh, so. Um, 
the, the, there are two uh, parameters to uh, denote the circle because this is not a uh, is not Lorentz invariant, so uh, one can consider uh, a, a, a space like uh, a spatial identific identification uh, with a with a tilting. Does it answer your question? What you just said was the second identification, right? But the one with the IA, what is that physically? Uh, a thermal circle. Like introduce a temperature. Uh, Does this correspond to a temperature in Minkowski space or, or what, what kind of temperature is it? Uh, this is very formal because in this uh, EMS field theory, it's not, uh, we don't have a, a metric. It's, uh, it's just that we consider uh, a manifold uh, parameterized by the coordinate U and the phi, and uh, uh, points are identified uh, in these two directions. U and the phi uh, to be understood as the Lorentz uh, coordinate uh, in Euro 2D CFT. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Okay, so now uh, now we have uh, described uh, uh, all this uh, well uh, these properties in uh, of the flat holography. Uh, now let's try to see how to uh, get a local modular Hamiltonian uh, for a single interval uh, on the vacuum state. Uh, so for that, uh, we will use uh, the generalized the Rindler method. Uh, so this is because uh, there is a striking similarity between entangled entropy and the thermal entropy. Uh, the modular Hamiltonian defined as the uh, minus log of the uh, uh, density matrix uh, is very uh, similar to your Hamiltonian. And our uh, Rainier entropy uh, plays the role of thermal partition function, while entanglement entropy uh, is very like uh, the thermal entropy at uh, a particular uh, temperature. But in general, this is just a, a similarity. It's not uh, uh, modular Hamiltonian. It's not really. Uh, a Hamiltonian and it's not geometrical, but it's uh, in some special cases, uh, we know it, it indeed becomes geometrical and we, one can write down a local model Hamiltonian. And uh, uh, so, uh, so let's uh, uh, review uh, what happens in ADSFT. So uh, we have uh, uh, entanglement entropy, uh, you know, uh, we want to calculate entanglement entropy for a ball shaped uh, region. And uh, uh, one can perform a conformal transformation to map the causal, uh, ca causal uh, domain of this region A uh, to a uh, Rindler space or a uh, hyperbolic space uh, uh, where well, that there is a uh, uh, a temperature and uh, the vacuum state is mapped to thermal equilibrium uh, of this um, uh, uh, of uh, uh, the new uh, of the Rindler space, and then uh, this uh, since this is perf this is uh, this transformation is a, a, a symmetry transformation uh, and it's unitary. Uh, it doesn't uh, change the entropy. 
then the entanglement entropy for that region is then uh, the thermal entropy uh, in the resulting uh, space time. And then this is still uh, a pure field theory analysis. But using ADSFT, we know that uh, uh, thermal entropy uh, can be mapped to uh, uh, black hole entropy. And in the bulk, uh, there, uh, one can construct a, a hyperbolic black hole. Um, but uh, interestingly, uh, this, uh, uh, the, to construct the hyperbolic black hole, one can uh, just uh, uh, extend the conformal transformation in the, uh, in the boundary to the bulk and to, go, to obtain uh, this black hole. And uh, also, uh, this, um, in this case, uh, modular flow is just generated by uh, this Rindler boost. And in the, uh, in the uh, gravity set, uh, this model flow is just a Killing vector. Uh, now, a uh, very similar thing can be done uh, for this flat holography. Uh, but uh, now, in the field theory set, uh, we cannot do a uh, conformal transformation because this is not a symmetry of our theory. But it's easy to replace a uh, uh, conformal symmetry by uh, this uh, so-called Rindler transformation, which has to be an allowed symmetry transformation. In our case, this is the EMS transformation. And it has to uh, satisfy certain properties that uh, I will show later. And then uh, once such a Rindler transformation can be found, then entanglement entropy is mapped to uh, thermal entropy. And using the holographic dictionary, this uh, thermal entropy is mapped to uh, this, uh, the um, analog of BTZ black hole. This is given by uh, a certain uh, flat uh, cosmological solution. And then uh, also extending this boundary Rindler transformation to the bulk, we can construct uh, this uh, transformation in the, in the bulk and uh, write down the model of flow generator. So that's the, uh, that's the, the idea. Um, and so to give more details, uh, we consider uh, interval A in the field series set. This interval A has, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, because this, uh, this field series is not Lorentz invariant. So um, uh, we want to keep track of its, uh, uh, the interval in uh, the, uh, how it tilted. Uh, so then this interval will be parameterized by uh, two parameters, LU and L5. LU is the coordinate difference between uh, in the U direction, and L5 is the coordinate difference of this in interval at, in the phi direction. And uh, here is the transformation. Uh, it will map this uh, causal domain to uh, some uh, uh, non-compact uh, manifold that's called B Tudor. And uh, it has uh, this uh, thermal identification uh, parameterized by uh, this uh, two parameters, beta U Tudor and beta phi Tudor. And this, this two, uh, these thermal identifications can be read from the uh, transformation here. And uh, uh, this, uh, since we are doing a symmetry transformation, uh, it also uh, it's Im uh, uh, implemented by a unitary transformation, and again, it doesn't change uh, the it doesn't change the uh, uh, the entropy. And in that case, uh, the entanglement entropy uh, would be given by uh, a thermal entropy. 
and uh, uh, so uh, and uh, uh, so here uh, this is a non-compact space. Uh, there, uh, uh, one can imagine uh, compactifying an additional uh, uh, this uh, infinite uh, uh, infinite spatial direction. Uh, assuming that there's no edge effect and then one can use the Cardi formula. And uh, so there, uh, uh, there is this uh, uh, entanglement entropy uh, calculated from the boundary set. And one can also write down uh, the modular flow generator in this case. Uh, this is uh, uh, basically in the new uh, in a new coordinate, that's the generator of this thermal circle. And going back to the original coordinate, uh, this is a um, th this is a, ve uh, a vacuum generator, uh, and it leaves the causal domain invariant and leaves an endpoint of this interval O invariant. Any question here? Well, this calculation uh, also uh, using this uh, Rindler method uh, can uh, also, uh, there is a consistent check with another method using this replica trick, basically using uh, the two-point function of twist operators and uh, they give the same result. On the other hand, uh, uh, with this uh, uh, Rindler transformation, one can extend this uh, transformation from boundary to the bulk and get the analog of hyperbolic black hole. And uh, this, uh, uh, and furthermore, um, this uh, uh, the horizon of this hyperbolic black hole, we can map it back. And uh, uh, in Minkowski space time, uh, uh, we'll get uh, such a configuration. Uh, that's uh, basically uh, the picture I show you before, but the now is uh, is in. Uh, it is it, drawing uh, the Penrose diagram. So here A is the interval on now infinity and uh, uh, gamma plus gamma minus are now lines and this gamma uh, uh, is the space lag uh, interval that gives you uh, the entanglement entropy. So uh, uh, next we will uh, try to understand the uh, more properties of this geomet uh, geometric picture and how to determine it uh, uh, in more general setup. Uh, are there any questions so far? Okay, uh, then I'll go ahead. Uh, so now let's talk, uh, try to see how how to write down the modular Hamiltonian. Uh, so um, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, explicitly using this Rindler transformation, one can find the modular Hamiltonian uh, by uh, going to the uh, Rindler space and find the thermal generator and uh, uh, transforming it back in the original coordinate. But alternatively, one can just uh, uh, find it uh, using a few requirement. Uh, but by this, uh, in fact, by these uh, two uh, properties. Uh, first, we know that it has to be a, a symmetry of the vacuum. So it can be written as a linear combination of this uh, six uh, uh, Pangray generators. And uh, we further require uh, this generator to leave, uh, leave this uh, causal domain invariant, uh, and in particular, leave this endpoint uh, uh, 
uh, as a, a fixed point. And then uh, that will fix uh, uh, some of these six coefficients here. Furthermore, uh, uh, we want to require that, uh, or we know that uh, uh, modular uh, Hamiltonian generate a flow. Um, and uh, in particular, uh, it will map uh, uh, with uh, the flow map parameter chosen uh, to be this i. Uh, then it maps uh, map, map it back to itself. Uh, basically, it's seeing that uh, uh, this Rindler time uh, actually is identified upon two pi i. And this way, uh, when uh, we don't need to go through this whole uh, find explicit uh, Rindler transformation, but just by requiring all these properties, you can find this uh, uh, generator. Uh, and then once we find this generator, then uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, this uh, uh, there is uh, in the field theory set uh, all these uh, symmetry generators. You can define uh, the conserved charges associated with them, and uh, then uh, this uh, modular Hamiltonian is then uh, just uh, basically uh, the Hamiltonian associated uh, with this generator, and. Uh, in, in this case, in the field, uh, in the field series set, uh, one can write it as, uh, as the following uh, expression. And uh, basically, uh, well, from the first line, it's explicit that uh, this is a constant linear combination of, of the uh, vacuum generators where this curly L minus one and one, these are the uh, charges in the, uh, uh, in the BMS field theory associated to this uh, little, uh, little L and little M, which are vectors. Okay, uh, so this, is, this picture is the model of flow. And uh, using that, uh, one can discuss uh, 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 further properties of uh, uh, modular, uh, the modular Hamiltonian. In particular, there is a bound uh, uh, in the context of uh, uh, CFT, uh, saying that uh, perturbations of the modular Hamiltonian are exponentially bounded. And uh, the, this bound is saturated by um, for these uh, deformations uh, satisfy this uh, eigenvalue problem. And uh, one can, uh, in this uh, BMS field theory, one can explicitly show that uh, uh, this pro property is also satisfied. And then uh, uh, one can, uh, using the holographic dictionary uh, to try to see how to uh, how to relate uh, how to do a perform a buffer calculation to get the modular Hamiltonian. And uh, as we know, uh, there is uh, this uh, vacuum generators. Each of them it correspond to uh, an asymmetry uh, or a killing vector in the bulk. And then uh, one can get a, a killing vector in the bulk, and it has certain uh, nice properties. Uh, and this vector, um, which is a vector field in the bulk, uh, it, uh, uh, um, it has uh, a bifurcating horizon. Here we denote it by n plus and n minus, and it has a bifurcating surface. And uh, 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 on this uh, bifurcating horizons, uh, uh, on, on the horizon, uh, it satisfies uh, these properties. And using this, uh, one can say that uh, um, uh, that uh, 
coup, euh, c'est un, uh, this, this next uh, property will, uh, um, uh, will, will uh, in particular, uh, we'll say that uh, this, uh, the surface, um, uh, the second condition will guarantee that the surface has a uh, uh, surface gravity uh, given by two pi. And uh, uh, here we also say that uh, uh, this model of flow will not keep the end point of A uh, fixed instead it will move uh, move the end point towards the uh, towards the bulk along these two null lines, and uh, uh, using this, uh, we know that uh, uh, for each kinetic vector, uh, one can try to cons uh, construct the gravitational charges associated with them. And uh, mm, this, uh, uh, in particular, uh, this case, we consider um, uh, this charge. Uh, sorry, this is not a. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, this is a. So, so um, in the coherent uh, formalism, one can calculate uh, this uh, surface charge. Uh, in different places, and uh, uh, they are the same. In particular, one can calculate the charge uh, at uh, this uh, interval uh, along this interval A. And uh, uh, this um, one can, by explicit calculation, uh, by considering uh, two neighboring states in gravity, and calculate the infinitesimal charge, uh, charge, one can show explicitly this agrees with the uh, uh, field, theory, field uh, theory calculation of the uh, change of the modern Hamiltonian uh, between two neighboring states. And uh, um, uh, in this coherent formalism, uh, this, uh, this integral uh, doesn't really depend on which surface uh, you choose, uh, as long as uh, uh, the, um, they uh, come, if you uh, together, uh, if the two surfaces are, uh, is the boundary of, uh, uh, of uh, 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 the uh, a compact uh, uh, surface, uh, or uh, in other sense, uh, in other words, uh, this uh, these two uh, surfaces they are uh, uh, hom uh, homologous to each other. Uh, then these charges are the same, and uh, so uh, then you can push the integral. Uh, to uh to gamma a, which is uh which contains uh gamma uh, which is space like and uh, this two null lines, and uh calculate the charge there, and that uh is uh is um uh, if this part of the uh, if this part of the calculation can be identified as uh, the change of the Entanglement entropy, then uh, the first, uh, then the entire uh, first line is just the indicating uh, that uh, uh, the uh, entanglement uh, first law is satisfied. And now uh, we would say, uh, uh, show explicitly this is indeed the same, uh, this integral. In this, uh, in, in the bulk, in, in gamma a, is indeed uh, the change of the entropy. Uh, uh, how much time do I have? Um, maybe 
maybe five more minutes. Does that work, or do you need more time? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it will work. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, so now uh, I'll go to the final part, uh, which is the uh, general uh, geometric picture. Uh, so um, this step is to um, basically uh, once we have uh, this statement that uh, on the vacuum uh, for the single interval you can uh, have uh, you, you can perform the render transformation and get the entropy and uh, uh, this uh, geometric uh, picture and the model Hamiltonian then the next step is to um, make it uh, a local. So basically, the um, the argument uh, goes uh, as follows. Uh, so near uh, each end point of uh, uh, at the boundary, one can define some um, approximate Rindler time. Uh, this basically. Um, uh, because uh, near each near the neighborhood of each point, we know it's uh, uh, we can approximate uh, this region uh, uh, by uh, uh, by this uh, uh, the uh, the single interval uh, where one interval is then to infinity, and also approximate the state by uh, the vacuum state, so that uh, uh, Near uh, each end point, you can uh, one can get uh, some approximate uh, Rindler time, and then uh, uh, this replica trick is to uh, perform uh, is uh, performed uh, using this uh, approximate uh, Rindler time by uh, changing uh, by uh, uh, open this uh, open this uh, thermal identification up and multiply um, change it to n times that's to make n copies. Alternatively, if we go to the Euclidean space, this is just the, the euro um, euro thing uh, changing the uh, identification change the period from two pi to two pi n, and we know that uh. The end point um, is actually uh, the fixed point of this approximate uh, approximate uh, Rindler time, um, and uh, using this property, uh, one can um, try to uh, extend uh, this approximate Rindler time to the bulk, and uh, uh, for each end point uh, in the boundary, um, and then uh, this uh, this uh, uh, one can show uh, this can be uh, uh, if this can be done, then um, this tau coordinate can be extended to the bulk, and then uh, this uh, the bulk. Uh, the bulk uh, replica trick can be performed. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, the euro, um, the the standard logarithmic uh, argument will still go through. Uh, we just need to be careful uh, how the this uh, the the bulk replica and the boundary replica they are uh, they they are matched to each other. And here is through, uh, through this approximate uh, Rindler uh, coordinate. And then uh, once we have uh, this extension of uh, this uh, boundary uh, Rindler uh, time to the bulk, then we can do the same thing as what uh, uh, Logarithmic Sina did and uh, uh, show that uh, the fixed point uh, of this uh, replica symmetry uh, would be uh, as n goes to one would uh, uh, would be a extremal surface and furthermore the entropy uh, can be calculated uh, using uh, this uh, 
uh, the on-shell action around uh, the fixed point. And uh, uh, so, uh, but the crucial difference is that uh, uh, the model of flow in Euro ADSFT uh, will, uh, will not, uh, this, uh, the boundary in Euro ADSFT, this uh, bulk, the bulk generator will not flow the boundary in the point, but here, it does flows and uh, it flows along this now line. And uh, uh, mm, to be more, uh, uh, in order to do uh, this, uh, to do the calculations, there is a, a prescription uh, on how to really find uh, the now lines. So uh, basically, uh, for each end point, and one can uh, find the, the approximate uh, model of flow generator, just uh, uh, pretend that this point is, um, uh, it's, uh, it's a single interval uh, from, uh, from this point to infinity and the state is vacuum. And then you can get this model of flow generator in the boundary. And then, uh, from the back, um, one can, uh, in general, find uh, uh, this now geodesics, and then uh, requiring this now geodesic to end on this uh, point P, and uh, further requiring that uh, the tangent vector uh, is, uh, is, uh, is given by this uh, model of flow approximate uh, model of flow parameter when can uniquely determine this now curve uh, at each point. And then once you find all these now geodesics, then you just uh, need to min uh, minimize uh, the length between the now geodesics. And if there are multi uh, extreme surface, then uh, choose the minimal one. Okay, so, um, and then uh, using this uh, using this prescription, we can go back to this entire BMS phase space, and uh, uh, one can explicitly show that uh, uh, this calculation indeed uh, we can get this change of the entanglement entropy, and indeed it agrees uh, with the entanglement force law. And uh, so here is the summary. Uh, we consider this uh, 3D holography and using uh, this Rindler method and the general gravitational entropy and find this new picture. Um, and uh, uh, thank you very much. That's all. All right. Thank you, Wei. Um, is there any other questions for Wei? Yeah, I have a question. Um, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding what a BMS field theory is. So what I wanted to ask was um, for ordinary conformal field theory, we have these very simple examples, Gaussian models, free field theories that are conformally invariant and allow us to understand that the axioms of conformal field theory have non-trivial solutions. Is there something analogous for BMS field theory? Um, I, I know one uh, free field theory, uh, but I um, uh, uh, this is uh, you consider, for example, uh, a free scalar and uh, uh, using uh, this uh, uh, instead of metric, you have uh, uh, this uh, newton carton metric, and then there is some residual symmetry, uh, and that's the BMS symmetry. So there, there's a model, uh, for, roughly a, a, a free field theory model, uh, but I, I don't know if this 
uh, for example, entanglement of bees calculated. Have, has someone um, solved that model explicitly and written it up on in a paper that I could look at? Uh, people considered that model in the uh, 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 Adron Bankji, uh, Bankji, uh has several papers on that. Uh, okay. But in the context of for, uh, the uh, tensionless, tensionless limit of string theory, it's not quite a field theory perspective. It, but but there, in principle, there is a model there. Okay, thank you. So I should think about the BMS field theory living on the non-infinity? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, any other questions? All right, uh, if not, let's thank Wei again. Thank you, Wei. Thank you.